Hello, third grade scientists. Today we're going to continue talking about different ways that the earth slowly changes. So slow, slow changes to the earth's surface. Um, we kind of got an overview on Tuesday about all the different types. Um, and today we're going to talk more about what weathering is. And remember, our whole big goal at the end of this unit is to be able to explain how soils are formed. So think about that as we're going through here. What does this have to do with soil? We're breaking down rocks. What does that have to do with it? Um, I want to um, go back over this slide because I think it's the most helpful. So weathering is like when your family separates in the morning to go to school or work because you're breaking apart. So that always helps me think about, okay, we're separating, we're breaking apart, we're all going to go different ways. That's what weathering is like. So read along with me as I read. Weathering is the breaking down of rocks and minerals over a long period of time. Remember, a long period of time. This takes a long time. It doesn't just happen very quickly. <coughs> there are many things that can cause weathering, like ice, wind, water, and even plants. Let's take a look at how these forces cause rocks to break up. So how does weathering occur? One thing that helps um, weathering occur is ice. Ice can cause weathering um, by something called the freeze-thaw. It happens by forming in small cracks and rocks, thawing and then refreezing. As the ice forms, it expands and widens the crack over and over until the rock breaks apart. So have you ever put like a soda can in the, fr or in the freezer? If you have, you'll notice that it explodes. That's because when water freezes, it expands. It becomes a solid. So if the water gets into these little cracks here and then freezes, it makes the rock expand. Then this word is thaw, and that means that it's going to melt again. So this process happens over and over. It freezes and then it thaws back out. It freezes and it thaws back out. So it expands this little crack here. It gets bigger and bigger and bigger until it breaks apart completely. So ice can cause weathering called freeze-thaw. So ice is one thing that can cause weathering. Wind can cause can weather rock by blowing particles against the rock, effectively sandblasting the rock. This breaks off small pieces of rock. So if the wind is really, really strong, it pushes other things up against the rock, which over and over and over again would break it apart eventually. If you hit something over and over and over, it's going to keep cracking and cracking and cracking until it breaks. That's what the wind does. It pushes other things onto the rock. This hole right here was made because of the wind. Isn't that just so crazy? Particles broke um, down all of these rocks to make this big, beautiful hole here. So, so far we have ice that causes weathering and wind that causes weathering. Something else that causes weathering is water. Water can pick up rocks and tumble them, which means it kind of makes them flip over and over and over, causing them to break and smooth over time. Also, some rocks like limestone and marble, those are types of rocks, can be dissolved by water. Some chemical reactions take place when carbon dioxide mixes with water, creating an acid. So basically all that's saying is some certain types of rocks don't get along with water the water will break them apart and kind of make them dissolve. Just like if you have, let me think of an example. If you have like a Kool-Aid um, packet or something that you're gonna mix into your water like lemonade, um, it the lemonade breaks up and dissolves into your water. That kind of is, that's what happens to these rocks. So water can tumble rocks and break them apart because they're hitting the ground over and over, or they're hitting the water over and over, or because of some chemical reactions. So, so far we have ice, 
we have wind, and we have water. Last, plants can weather rock by growing roots in the cracks of rocks. As the plants grow larger, the roots grow larger, pushing the cracks open wider. So you guys saw this in the brain pop the other day. Um, when Moby was walking, he tripped over the roots, the tree roots in the ground, because they pushed through the sidewalk. They do the same thing to to rocks. They push through rocks or big boulders and they break them apart. See, this big rock here, this tree pushed its way all the way through this rock and made this big hole all the way through this rock. So those are the things that can make weathering occur or make weathering happen. So they get broken up tinier and tinier because of plants, water, wind, and ice. Okay, third grade. So you do not have this page in your packet. So you're just gonna help me fill it out. So what I've done is, is I've written the words that we'll need. So as we read, we're gonna read the sentence and then we're gonna decide which word fills in the blank. Are you ready? Blank is a <coughs> natural process that is a slow change to the earth. Is that weathering, plants, ice, wind, water, or freezes? Weathering. Weathering is a natural process that is a slow change to the earth. Even though blank is just moving air, it can pick up small particles and blow them against rock, blasting off bits in pieces. So there are some key words here. Moving air, it blows them against rock. So we've already used weathering. Let's cross that one off. Plants, ice, wind, water, or freezes. Even though blank is just moving air, it can pick up small particles and blow them against rock, blasting off bits and pieces. Wind is moving air, you're right. Blank can pick up rocks as it flows and tumble them, knocking them against other rocks and breaking them up. Hmm, this one's kind of tricky. <coughs> Plants ice, water, or freezes. Water. Water can pick up rocks as it flows. That's our key word here. Water is the thing that flows. Ice doesn't flow, plants don't flow, freezes wouldn't make sense. So, water can pick up rocks as it flows and tumble them, knocking them against other rocks and breaking them up. Blank can cause weathering by growing roots in cracks that expand, causing a break. Which of these things grow roots? Plants, ice, freezes. Ice can cause weathering by growing roots? No. Plants. Plants can cause weathering by growing roots in cracks that expand, causing a break. And blank can be a powerful force as it blank and thaws over and over, expanding in a crack of a rock. All right, we have two different words here and two different blanks. Let's see which one makes sense. And freezes can be a powerful force as it ice and thaws over and over, expanding in a crack of rock. Do you think that made sense? I don't know. Let's try it the other way. And ice can be a powerful force as it freezes and thaws over and over, expanding in a crack of rock. That would make sense because freeze thaw, it freezes and thaws. Awesome. So ice can be a powerful force as it freezes and thaws over and over, expanding in a crack of rock. Awesome job. Thank you so much for your help, third graders.
We're gonna take some notes after this, so go ahead and get out your science journal. All right, third grade. So get out your science journal and flip to the next clean page. Remember, you can always write on the side. The only reason I don't is because my pen bleeds through. Also remember that you should be using pencil. I use pen so that you can see it on the video. And last but not least, don't forget, you can pause this video anytime you need to. All right, so the first thing that we do is write the date on top of our paper. Today is 1-7-21. How crazy is that? We are going to be using this paper today and tomorrow. So be sure that you keep it organized and neat and um, you don't take up the whole page because we're going to do this tomorrow as well. Next, we have to title our page. We're going to title it Slow Changes to Earth's Surface. We write things in our science journal so that we can come back to them whenever we need. So if you are doing an activity and you forget what one of these words mean, you can always come back to your science journal. That's why we keep a journal. We also write it down because it helps our brain memorize it. All right, so we're gonna split our paper into three. So I'm going to count eight lines and draw a line. All right, so I've drawn two lines. I have three sections, one section, two section, three section. We're just going to do the top section today. Now, a lot of information is going to go in each section. So it's really important that you write on the lines so that we have enough room for everything that we need. So today we're gonna write down the things that we learned about weathering. So we're gonna write down the definition. Weathering is the slow process of breaking down rocks. Try to um, make your paper look like mine. There's a reason I'm keeping it all over here because something else is gonna go on the side. So weathering is the slow process of breaking down rocks. Over here, we're gonna make a list of things that cause weathering. So we're gonna write caused by what were the four things that caused weathering? I want to see if you know them. Pause this video, write them down, and then see if you were correct. All right, the four things that cause weathering are wind, water, ice, and plants. Were you right? And the last thing we're gonna do over here, um, we're going to draw a picture of this happening. So I'm gonna draw a rock but my rock has some holes in it. And then I'm gonna color in my rock. You can use um, crayons for this if you'd like to. If 
but this just reminds me that it breaks down the rock. Eventually the rock might even split in half. So maybe I'll draw that too. This is my rock that's split in half. And don't forget, good scientists label their stuff. So this is a rock. These are holes in the rock caused by weathering. I'm running super teeny tiny, I hope you can too. And then this is a rock in half. All right, this was a lot of stuff to write down. So if you have not finished, please do so. Pause this video right now and go ahead and finish writing. And remember, we're gonna do the bottom two to, um, on Friday, tomorrow. So make sure this page is neat and safe. If you even wanna fold it down so that it's easier to find it tomorrow, that's a great idea. All right, we'll see you tomorrow, scientists. You have an activity to complete in Schoology, so don't forget that.